Welcome everybody. In today's Hidden History presentation, we discuss artificial intelligence. Where does AI come from and where will it lead? This is certainly a subject that has been concealed as there are some parts to the true human history that are very questionable in regards to when AI actually began. When we look at the ancient statues, drawings, paintings, there are so many references to artificial intelligence and advanced occult technology that describes crafts, beams of light and free energy systems. Maybe these were naturally created or maybe we had advanced artificial intelligence systems that could operate and interact with the human senses. In effect, such occult technology was so advanced that even the software programmers and IT engineers in Silicon Valley would be scratching their heads over it today. There have been many experiments and projects created to develop artificial intelligence systems that have had no public disclosure or have been later presented to be a conspiracy theory. But the Philadelphia Experiment, Project MKUltra and the Star Wars program, including the weaponry from the Strategic Defense Initiative, SDI. And yes, why are governments developing weaponry in the solar system? These are just some of the experiments that have occurred behind closed doors. Yes, a conspiracy, but not a theory. Was it an accident that there was a surge of new scientific developments such as AI systems after the Grieda Treaty was signed in February 1954, where the US President David Dwight Eisenhower signed a treaty with an ET race called the Rigelians? Was occult technology exchanged during the Grieda Treaty and was a deep underground military base constructed below Murak Army Airfield that became Edwards Air Force Base in Southern California? Were advanced AI technologies manufactured there? In 1968, Sir Arthur C. Clarke wrote the epic science fiction story 2001, A Space Odyssey. And that same year, Stanley Kubrick turned it into a film. An interesting note with Arthur C. Clarke, in his 1951 book, The Exploration of Space, it was used by the rocket pioneer and NASA engineer known as Werner von Braun to convince President John F. Kennedy that it was possible to go to the moon. A science fiction book to help convince the US president to embark on a space mission. Did Arthur C. Clarke have an insight into such technologies with his science fiction writings? Did Arthur C. Clarke have some kind of access to an occult technology which a secret society had given him? When you talk to a human in 2035, you'll be talking to someone that's a combination of a biological and non-biological intelligence. Raymond Kurzweil is an American inventor and futurist who has written books on human health and artificial intelligence. He is also interested in transhumanism, the technological singularity and world futurism. That quote is one of many things Ray Kurzweil has said about artificial intelligence and is a bold statement considering where we currently stand with technology in 2022. Many people have explained the Bible to be some sort of template, an outlook into our world. When you look at Anthony Patch, who is a devout American Christian and paramedic in Western California, he has mentioned on numerous occasions that the Bible warns us of the mark of the beast, which is written about in the book of Revelations. The mark of the beast and the negatively utilized artificial intelligence systems ultimately concern enslaving human consciousness. So humans end up worshipping the beast and the antichrist while the AI then tracks commerce in a cashless world community. I've heard that before somewhere. According to Anthony Patch, these kinds of spiritual AI systems also allow for the biodigital development of artificial life satanic miracles and mass delusion of earth humans by using spiritual deception. We step deeper into the rabbit hole in this 3D holographic reality, but we must remember what the material dimension is and you are here now. Please note this information has been researched and composed in a way so you can make your own mind up. Let us continue. 
With the Philadelphia experiment in 1943, where the US Navy attempted to create an electromagnetically charged invisibility cloak for the US Eldridge and it teleported 650 kilometers away from where it was stationed. A rumor linking the Philadelphia experiment was to the Serbian genius inventor Nikhil Tesla, who supposedly made all the necessary calculations and drawings and provided generators that were used in the teleportation of the US Eldridge. Was this advanced technology connecting to a frequency field and allowing this object to teleport? Based on the unified field theory of Albert Einstein, this may not have been exactly AI, but this was certainly a super advanced occult technology or operating in a similar frequency to AI. Now, if this experiment was true, the US Navy would have never disclosed this technology to the public as it was for developing supposedly defense technologies. My brain is only a receiver. In the universe, there is a core from which we obtain knowledge, strength and inspiration. I have not penetrated into the secrets of this core, but I know it exists. Dating back as far as 4500 BC, we have aircraft that were powered by using mercury and were somehow influenced by the thought of humans. The Manus, also known as the Traversers, which once flew over the airspace over Vedic India. These were mercury vortex engines, a concept similar to the electric propulsion system. According to the translated version of the Agasta Samhita, the propulsion system designed for the Vyamas was based on anti-gravitational occult technology and could resonate with the field of humans. Interestingly, according to Hindu yogis, the force of Lagima becoming lighter Within this frequency field, it is also known humans enable and can effectively levitate. The Viemers had some kind of central computer system that could absorb the thought and waves of the pilot. A film that explains this type of AI is called Flight of the Navigator by Steven Spielberg. Moving closer to present day, in 2007, the Sentinel World Simulation was created in the seas. Synthetic Environment for Analysis and Simulations at the Purdue University for the US Defense Department. SEAS collects users' data from the internet and is a digitally duplicated synthetic version of the 3D holographic reality we exist in and has become a continually updated mirror of life on planet Earth. Researchers like Seth Lloyd have suggested that the entire physical universe could be simulated inside a quantum computer. Also, the SWS apparently not only receives data from the internet, but also from Smart Dust. Yes, this is sounding like a sci-fi film, but Smart Dust is very real, which could very possibly be already in our environment. And if so, are we already all being tracked and traced already or in a simulation? The SWS is attempting to duplicate the divine creation of the universal creator. This is not to assist the physical world, but to replicate it so we can see outcomes, but also making humans fully dependent on their aversion of the 3D holographic reality and keep people contained within digital systems. Again, this could be used for our benefit to enhance our well-being but it seems to be cutting us off further from who we truly are and imprisoning us into this technology. According to Dr. Geordie Rose, the co-founder of the D-Wave Systems, a company that creates these machines, they can even tap into parallel worlds and other dimensions. He also stated that Earth humans need to watch out for a tsunami of demons coming from these AI systems. He said that the D-Wave quantum computers are able to summon a tsunami of demons or aliens that are the equivalent of the old ones spoken of by the famous American horror novelist called Howard Phillips Lovecraft. Additionally, Dr. Geordie Rose stated that standing next to one of these D-Wave quantum supercomputers is like standing at the altar of an alien god. 
The Large Hadrian Collider in Switzerland is the largest and highest energy particle accelerator on planet Earth. Besides the publicly announced experiments that happen there, there are also theories that these huge systems are used for parallel dimensions, parallel realities and parallel universes and have access to the astral plane. Different interfaces have been produced so the artificial intelligence can link with the frequencies and vibrations. When researched, you will find this links to the Saturn cube theory, which is actually the Saturn hexagon and the moon matrix, which together work as a tuning fault, keeping us in this vibration or frequency. When Elon Musk being the corporate rebel he is stated back in October 2014, with artificial intelligence we are summoning the demon. He was conveying his own perspective on such things. Elon Musk also stated during the same gathering that you know all those stories where the guys with the pentagram and the holy water are, and he's like yeah he's sure he can control the demon but it doesn't work out. The 51 qubit quantum supercomputer has been developed and many quantum supercomputers that have been seemingly produced to resonate with a particular frequency. By using D-Wave quantum supercomputers, computations can be sped up as the D-Wave quantum supercomputers can directly resonate into an imaginable vast fabric of the 3D holographic reality and the astral plane. That is counterintuitive to quantum mechanics. There is a connection in artificial intelligence to aspects of ceremonial magic, Western occultism, Eastern occultism and witchcraft. Coding has become the 21st century wizardry, being able to control the masses through programming algorithms. If someone wanted to control human consciousness, they would want to understand how the divine creation emanates from the universal creator or even replicate it. Although the essence of AI is neither good or evil, the individuals who maintain and develop them are very distorted in their thinking. There is certainly a dark side to AI. Was there a reason why Arthur C. Clarke's Childhood's End has never been made into a film? Is the book too close to reality? But if this AI is understood, it could revolutionize our world and end poverty, starvation and energy problems and then build a golden paradise that would not be synthetic and over-regulated. We are at a crossroads and therefore humans have a choice. All the information in here is accessible to all. Remember, artificial intelligence only has the potential we give it. Remember how sacred humans are and how powerful your energy is. Thank you for watching and please like, comment and share this video with someone who may find this useful.